Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the 4th to the 10th of um, May 2020 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot and I'll be doing that after I've done the Crystal Ball and I'm using the uh, Strength of the Healing Angels and Archangel Michael and the Angel Feather. Okay, let's get started. I've cleaned the crystal ball before I started, and let's see what we've got. I have to do the vi uh, video again. I have made it before, but I've started again. Totally different cards as well. Oh wow, I see angel wings here. I see angel wings here. And I also see two wedges and a space in between. So you might be separated from your loved ones. You might be separated from fam uh, friends or family. Um, okay. You're missing them though. I'm also seeing an egg, an egg, something is, f the ground is fertile to either get pregnant or to start a new project, fertile, something, you can sow seeds now for the future and it's, it's like, hang it's like a drop of water or a, like a tear, but it's not crying, it's not, a, it's like it's hanging on a thread and it's something encapsulated. So some, you've already got an idea and you want to put it into um, material, into the material world. It's like a drop. And once it falls off this line, then boom, busts open. Okay, I also see layers, layers, there's like, I've got a spot here, a spot there, a spot here and a spot there, so it's four, four or five layers, because I also see other layers, it's like if you've been, you've had a lot of ideas and they're all stacked like that. Um, and you don't know which one to take first. Hmm. Could be big, could be really big. I also see the letter F and I'm making notes on this. So F, freedom could be somebody's name could be somebody's name I also see a ballerina so you might be dancing you might be dancing of joy because it's coming to fruition dancing okay You're definitely going to receive news, perhaps on how to do it, or that your idea has been accepted. Okay, I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot, and let's see what they are going to say for you. I do it very quickly because I don't like doing this online because it takes time, and you know. I can I watch people and then I go get on with it get on with it don't shake the cards so much <laughs> everybody does it in their own way there's some amazing reading readers out there okay the first card I take from the top and you've got the nine of pentacles wow nine of pentacles nice one then I take one from the bottom and you've got the Ten of Swords. 
I'm sorry, Virgo. And I'll take one from somewhere. Okay, he slide it out. You've got Mother of Wands, the Queen of Wands. And we'll take one near the bottom. And you've got the Daughter of Swords, that's the Page of Swords. Let's see what we've got on the bottom. Ooh, we've got the Fool, a new beginning. Okay. Mm, nice one. Let's have a look. You're coming, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So you're coming to an, an end of a phase and you're going into a better phase. You might get promotion. You might be getting a promotion, or if you're starting your own business, you um, you'll have enough finance to start your own business. Perhaps that's why you're dancing for joy. You've got that loan through because you've got a news here. You've got news here. Okay, we've got the ten of swords. So where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Somebody might have stabbed you in the back in the past or somebody could be stabbing you in the back so forewarned is forearmed play your cards close to your chest my darling if you want um, like I said an egg fertilization if you are pregnant then and you don't want everybody to know yet because they might be jealous or say don't do that it's not wise you're too young or whatever you know there are people that are like that they that feels like a stab in the back you rather be supported everybody does but there is a new beginning so you're going from the nine to the ten perhaps you might not have had enough finances or you weren't right in the finances to get pregnant or start this new project and now you will there's a new beginning boom confirmation and you're more aware of what you want and what you do you are playing the cards close to your chest because you are going for what you want big time because you've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is somebody that um, goes after what she wants she stands for action passion she's passionate about it okay the Queen of Wands is also Leo but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius if she gets an idea in her head no wild horses can drag her away from it okay so now we're going to the page of swords the page of swords is Aquarius so there could be a news coming from an Aquarian a young Aquarian but don't exclude Gemini or Libra it will be cyber news that means email text message or a phone call okay so there is news coming and we did see arrows um, uh, in the crystal ball or rather I did and in uh, other decks it is called arrows the swords so there you go the arrows is coming in Wow um, this could be news legal legal news uh, like uh, contracts getting this loan for whatever you want to start up with uh, or want to do that you're passionate about um, you could even be meeting like I said a, a, a fire sign this could be a, a, a Leo because that's the Queen or a Sagittarius or an Aries and it, uh, if you're a woman it could be a man with a nurturing nature the feminine side of him it comes out nurturing okay if you're a woman you could be m meeting a man but if you're a man you could be meeting a lady that's a fire sign but very strong-willed so make sure that you let them know what your boundaries are and what and find out what their boundaries are okay everybody's got layers so make sure that the communication can keep going and that the passion can grow into love if that's what you want clear communication swords is communication use your mind use your wisdom learn from the past you don't want to be stabbed in the back okay uh, uh, so wonderful this could be a new passion or a new love 
Okay, so don't get your fingers burnt. Take it easy, because you've got air, and air will can make fire burn more rapidly. So it will go very, very, very fast. So take it slow. Don't you can't run before you can walk, and you've got this full a new beginning. So take that leap of faith. Know that passion can grow into love. But make sure that you take it slow and steady, so you've got something to solid ground to build on. Okay, Virgo. Now, if you don't want to get pregnant, because we did, I did see an egg, and there are new beginnings, an ending, new beginnings. Where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. Where there, uh, and the nine is an ending, a ten is an ending, new beginnings. Use your wisdom. Use your communication. Keep the communication. You've got swords here. Okay. It's going to go very, very fast. Something is going to go and start very fast. You'll be dancing with joy. Okay. Ooh, freedom. Let go of the past. Freedom. Let go of the past. Let go of old things. Open your solar plex. Open your heart to love. Set the intention to receive. Beautiful. You know. You know what you want. Go for it. Go for it. Now you've got a golden card. That means protection. And it is auric field protection. Auric is your aura. Okay? Your aura. That is the your aura is also is also colored. Some people can see it. Okay? I find I'll I'll show you one thing. I can see them, but but I am sometimes very very hard to see them. I see more like holes. It's different with every person. And with you, I see that you are coming out of darkness into the light. That is what I'm seeing with you because it's general. So I can't see all the Virgos here, but I do see you're coming out of the darkness into the light. You've got your knowledge. You know what you want. So this is an auric field protection. Protection rose. So Archangel Michael guides you to visualize a beautiful protection rose to sit on the edge of your aura. And if you can't do that, if you can't imagine a rose sitting on the outer rim of your aura or your chakras, because you're uh, covered, surrounded by light, surround yourself by white light, and then put that rose on that white light. The uh, universe and the divine is with you and the angels. Did I say wings? I can't remember. And you've got the copper angel feather. The copper angel feather. Business growth. What did I tell you? Business growth. You've got the money. Ooh. You've got the money to start afresh. You have wanted something for a long time. Okay. I'm not going to hold the card up. Business growth. The angels are here to inform you that the hours of hard work you have put in are about to be rewarded. The copper angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of business success. The angels applaud the passion you have for your business venture. Your un you, they understand that establishing a new business involves long hours, many frustrations. Okay. And often I'm laughing because it's so magical how this, these cards always come together. And often isolation. Yes, somebody might have been angry at you because they didn't get the attention. So, they stabbed you in the back. You might also have backache actually. Okay. The angels would like you to know that the path is to become easier and positive outcome will result you will experience great professional growth and achievement and achieve the financial goals that you set and wish for. Have patience and remain possible, positive at all times. 
all will be revealed in the angel or the divine time okay you're going to get news you're going to get news now the crystals that you can use is copper aragonite and carnelian so those are the three stones that you can carry with you and meditate with or put them in your bra or put them in your purse or put them in your pocket and it will enhance the detoxification uh, a, a of poisonous things around you, poisonous negative energy, you can uh, wear it. It is also good for rheumatoid arthritis and muscles and joints, and uh, especially if you've got magnets with your um, um, copper bracelet. I've got one. And if you follow our uh, witches series, then uh, Wendy has talked to us about uh, magnets and copper and she sells them so it's amazing go and have a look at the witches series if you like and this reading is lovely so you are being recognized and you are getting this idea that you have off the ground and it's going to deliver big money for you or promotion at work but remember protect yourself from negative energy and know that you are protected I hope you've enjoyed this reading Virgo, take care and God bless and I love to see you in the live sessions. Please like and share. My gratitude goes out to you and my uh, prayers and I wish you the best. Have a beautiful week, take care, stay strong.